Hey there, and welcome to my channel, The Paper Bag Investor. Today's video, I want to take a first look at the company Lemonade and look at some of the qualities that I'm seeing behind the company just as I look through some of their investor relations material. So, let's get into it. And I want to let you know, but at the end of the video, I will be sharing my thoughts whether I think Lemonade is a buy or not, or whether I might personally be buying some of it. So stay tuned to the end of the video to find out that to find out my take on this stock. I also want to be totally clear, I'm not a personal financial advisor. I'm just a guy with a paper bag on his head who loves investing and thinking about the future. So if you love investing, you love thinking about the future, I encourage you to hit that subscribe button down below, follow along with my channel as it grows, become a better investor with me. The purpose of this channel is really to help you guys, my audience out there, become better investors as I become a better investor. And my investing philosophy in a nutshell is to basically look at companies from many different angles until you find a company you have a lot of conviction about. When you find that kind of really gem of a company, then invest heavily in that company. So I hope this channel can really help you and help a community of people growing uh, with this kind of investing philosophy behind us. Uh, I think we can do very, very well with our investments, with your investments. So yeah, that brings us to today's topic, which is a company called Lemonade, an insurance company out of the United States. And uh, I'm going to, again, I'm not going to look at everything I can with Lemonade, but bring up some of the qualities that I'm seeing as I look through their investor relations material. Um, number one, I'm seeing that their, their, their uh, material is extremely well written, extremely well written, which I find... Um, very, very encouraging as an investor because a lot of times you read investor relations material from a company and often I find um, what happens is that uh, if, if you can't actually make sense, totally clear sense of what the, the leadership of the company is writing to you in their material, if you can't quite understand or grasp what their clear vision for the company is, if you can't quite understand um, their roadmap to get there, or what they prioritize or value and what they don't, it's probably because they themselves, the leaders of the company, don't actually know that themselves. Deep down, they don't actually have a clear enough vision or concrete path forward. Um, so it's very, very telling just how people communicate, how clear they can, how clearly they can articulate something and write it down, especially as the leaders of the company. Um, it, it is can really show you something about what the leadership there brings and what they're thinking for the future. Just how clear is their thinking? And Lemonade, I'm extremely impressed with all the material I've read so far. Um, it's extremely well written and, and um, really cuts like a knife to exactly what they're trying to say. So, okay, I'm going to bring up their... Uh, so that's great. Well written, number one. That's <laughs> well written. I'm going to bring up their shareholder letter. Just have a few uh, screenshots of it. I'm going to be sharing with you guys some things I took out of it. This is on their investor relations website. It's called Our Lemonade Stand, a letter from our co-founders. Uh, I'm going to flip into it here. There's some introductory stuff in this letter. You can read it if you want, but I'm just going to highlight some of the things I see. <clears throat> Number one, this, this point they make, they say, we are committed to planning, but not to plans. And basically, this paragraph they talk about, they really value as a company trying to be lean and nimble which I think is just fantastic as a company being able to, it's a fantastic idea of how we learn, being able to be lean and nimble enough that you can take chances, you can take risks, and then based on the feedback you get, the results you have of that, you can alter or pivot your course. So that's something they really value as a company trying to maintain this startup sort of mentality and always improving and getting better uh, in a lean, nimble way. Um, it's something I'm really excited about. I really loved reading that in there, in this letter. So that was point number one. They just value being lean and nimble, which is awesome. <clears throat> number two, another point they make, they say, we are short-term patient, but long-term greedy. And I sort of highlighted one part out of this paragraph. It says, read this for you. Optimizing for profitability is important. This is a very important point, okay? Optimizing for profitability is important, but can wait we aim to first grow fast and capture as much market share, mind share, and as large a geographical footprint as possible. So Lemonade, really their whole strategy is that invest, uh, uh, the, the insurance companies as a whole have kind of, are, are these huge giant companies that have kind of been the same for hundreds of years. And they're coming and not very customer friendly, not very customer centric, 
but Lemonade's coming in with a more efficient, more data driven model, more AI driven sort of approach to handling claims <clears throat> that A should save them costs and efficiencies, but also is very customer centric, the end user customer buying the insurance because it's very easy just with an app on your phone, you can get the insurance you need, you can understand the insurance, it's written in a, in a very, very clear, easy uh, to understand language, so you understand what you're actually getting covered for with your insurance and not. And then finally, it's easy to um, get the claims process for insurance. So it's very customer centric in all these ways, that, 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 which is different than I would say than just about any insurance company out there. And so what Lemonade is suggesting here is that rather than trying to just really focus on getting one thing perfect and one insurance product perfect and kind of scale that at the right kind of um, economic or the right profitability just around that little product, they have this idea that they can be, make a more uh, user friendly, more customer friendly approach to insurance and they want that to just go viral to just explode with growth because if they can make that explode with growth suddenly everyone anybody might just have the lemonade app on their phone and they instinctively know oh i need insurance all i have to do is open my lemonade app and there you go <laughs> get the insurance i need i understand it and it's really simple um, and it's simple to change it's simple to update it's simple to process a claim they just know and trust that brand. And so to, to capture that market share, I think it's just very, very important that they grow as aggressively as possible, which is what they're talking about here in this paragraph. This is a very similar to approach to what Amazon took. Amazon was, you know, on paper, just a retailer, but Amazon, Amazon tried to grow <clears throat> as quickly as they could, keep making their, their margins as thin as possible so they can just be just profitable enough that they can keep growing because they knew what they were offering as a retailer was a very different, unique service of online retail. And so for people, A, for people to um, to to buy something online that they never, if they never shopped online before, they kind of need to build market trust with those people. But they also knew that by growing that network as rapidly as possible with this, you know, keeping their margins as thin as possible so they get a cost could be as cheap as possible for the user. So people would, would they would grow as fast as possible, then they would build trust in across the whole marketplace that, A, you think online sales, you think buying anything, you think Amazon. And then from there, they can slowly increase their margins and they can make a ton of money. So brilliant move. I'm really happy to see um, Lemonade taking a similar approach with their overall strategy. Awesome. Okay, the next one is we're transparent except when we are not. Um, this one just I want to bring up that they are they're they're a very transparent company. They even have blog posts about mistakes they've made. So that's great. It's, they're, it's, they're not trying to impress anyone on the surface. They're not trying to impress um, people that are thinking short term. They're just trying to think. I'm really getting the sense they're just trying to think long term. How can they make the company learn and succeed? Which is fantastic. The next one, we see our job as value creation, not share price maximization. <clears throat> so again, many companies, they really focused on just what is the share price? What can we do to make the share price you know, go up? And if that's, that's the wrong kind of uh, mental framework to bring to a company if, you, if you're leading the company. You really should think, first of all, what is the customer? Who is our customer or customers and how can we deliver the most value to them? And of course the share price will follow that value stream. Um, so that's really exciting that they're very explicitly saying that's what they value, that's what they care about. And they say, we believe values add value. Lemonade is a public benefit corporation, which is very interesting. Um, and I think is a really brilliant uh, approach to insurance because often as insurance, for insurance companies and as a customer, it feels like you're kind of at odds with each other because the insurer, they essentially, they you're paying them a fee and then you don't, if you do, something does go wrong, then they have to pay you out some money so they don't want that to happen. So it's a very conflicting relationship between the insurer and the insuree. But um, what Lemonade's talking about, and the what their brilliant strategy is setting themselves up as a public benefit corporation means a chunk of all the insurance um, payments that are made or of all the revenues they bring in chunk of that goes to charities 
which I think just it just brings a lot of goodwill between them as the company and as a user base. Um, it makes you feel better that um, if, if it's sort of closely priced with another insurer, I think people would pick them over that, uh, over another insurer, just because they know that in a sense they're helping the, the public at large, community at large, charity at large. So that's awesome as well. And then finally, I want to just say something I noticed is that these these co-founders of this company are extremely ambitious. They read in their last paragraph, I highlighted one little sentence says, the contest to be the preeminent insurance brand of the next century is just getting started. Like they're talking about, and, and some of the sort of first paragraphs of this whole letter, they talk about the history of insurance, how it started, how it uh, changed during sort of a scientific revolution and now how it's changing during a data revolution. They're on the just on the cusp of that. But <clears throat> the fact that they're talking about that they, they really are trying to become an insurance brand or insurance giant to behemoth that could lead the next century is just extremely ambitious. And I just love that kind of drive. It, a, a, as an investor, you just want to see that drive from the leadership of a company, it's very, very exciting to see that kind of um, just energy and and vision or hope that they could have. And and honestly, when you're thinking about their sort of overall strategy of being extremely customer centric, they often talk about in a lot of their materials. They talk about delighting the customer. Like what what kind of insurance company you think about says? You want to delight the customer. If anything, when you think of an insurance company, I think of a bunch of underwriters and a bunch of uh, executives saying, how can we basically make this as murky as possible so we bring in the, the most insurance um, revenue that we can, even people that are overinsured, maybe more than they need to be, but they just pay it because they, they're maybe afraid. There's some gray area they're afraid of where their coverage sort of connects or not, or how much they're covered for is not totally clear. And, and it's almost like they want that unclarity there, that the sort, of, sort of murkiness or confusion there as a typical uh, insurance company. But Lemonade's trying to strip all that away, write simple, basic, easy to understand insurance policies, make the customer experience super clear, super easy to get your get your quote, figure out if what you're covered for, uh, sign up for insurance. If you'd, something goes wrong, make a claim, get paid for the claim. Uh, they're trying to make that all extremely, extremely streamlined, which I think it, it, they totally could. They, From what I'm seeing, they have the sort of platform that they could scale. Uh, and become a, a huge uh, insurance giant over the next century. That's certainly possible. So I'm very excited about this company. Uh, I said at the beginning, I'll let you know, is it a buy, is it not a buy? And I'll let you know that I've actually bought a little bit of this company and I'm gonna be researching more and more and more. If I'm, I'm gonna be putting out more content, if I think it's just like a more and more conviction about this company, I'll of course be letting you guys know and uh, I'll be, uh, as a conviction grows, I would be buying and accumulating more shares in the company as well. But um, so for me, it's a buy. Of course, none of this is personal financial advice. You have to do your own due diligence, make your own decisions as an investor. But uh, to me, it's a very exciting company that I'm excited about. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you enjoyed this channel, if you enjoyed this, you got value out of this, please hit that subscribe button down below. Follow along with my channel and become a better investor with me. And uh, while you're at it there, smash the thumbs up or the like button, as, as they say. Share this video with somebody you know. Hope this community of investors grow. And uh, I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.